Yo, what up? My name is Don, and today we're going to be checking out the reveal trailer for a game called Supervive by Theorycraft Games. This is a game that popped up on my radar in the past couple of weeks, and I believe I first heard of it through a Twitch campaign that they're doing to get drops so that you can get in the alpha testing that is going on on PC right now. Uh, this game looks to be a MOBA, and it looks absolutely awesome. Um, I signed up to pre-register to get in the beta myself, and they're going to be having an open beta later this year. I'm not sure about a release date yet, but a lot of people are excited about it and you know everyone's been saying they really hope that this game pops off in the uh, MOBA genre and I really think that uh, there there's room for some new lifeblood in the MOBA genre beside games like Dota and League of Legends. So without further ado let's hop right in and check out the reveal trailer for Supervive. Yo. Dude, I need this right now, dude. <laughs> God, I need it right now. I need it right now, dude. Um, yes, I need it. I need it right now, dude. Um, that is Supervive. Um, like I said, I don't. I don't remember where I caught wind of that first. I think it was through their Twitch campaign that they're doing. I think you get um some type of uh, a drop called a crystal or, or something to do with the game. And I believe if you get a certain amount of them, you can unlock access to the beta, something like that. Uh, regardless, they do have open beta access coming later this 2024. They are an independent studio, Theorycraft Games. They kind of popped up out of nowhere to me, and I'm sure they've had, you know, trials and tribulations to get to the point of getting, you know, this amazing trailer out. Um, it, the game looks super exciting. That's all I can say. The trailer was awesome. I love the way they had, uh, the way that, you know, they, I mean, we all know how MOBAs work, MOBA players, MOBAs been around for a while. It's not a new um, um, game genre, but, you know, the way that they incorporated, like, you know how in uh, a Dota, I think you can press I and it goes into like a first person mode, which you would never play in. And I've always wondered it in the back of my head, like, what's this mode for? But it's really cool to see how they used it in the Supervive trailer to, I think, the moment where, like, one of the players is like, you see what I just did, right? And they um, kind of did this, like, backwards, um, like, backwards jumping, 
like you have to look in the direction that you want to jump from and they jump backwards and they did that they had to like turn around aim their character and then jump backwards and shoot in the direction they were facing it was pretty cool um i just want to get it back up on screen so i can you know talk over it because i think it'll be easier to uh you know <laughs> realize what i'm talking about here so we will um yeah, we'll skip past the cinematic at the beginning. By the way, the cinematic is absolutely awesome. I do love uh, a little bit of story, a little bit of lore, especially in a game like a MOBA where there's not, I don't think there's much room to do that. You know what I mean? But we'll go to the gameplay here and like, dude, I love how the map, it looks like the map is so interactive, right? Um, I'm always really picky when it comes to this almost like cell shaded graphic style. Which, to me, this doesn't look like Dota. It, it reminds me a little bit more of League of Legends. It does look a little bit more modern in, in the sprites and, the, and, you know, all the, the little graphics off the spells and abilities. But one thing I do want to say, the UI is so clean. I'm such a fan of the UI at the bottom. I'm a, a, a really big fan of how open the screen space is, especially in a mobile when there's so much action happening on the screen. I love how, like, you know, I can barely tell what's going on, but like I see a dude with a sword. This dude's like running through those like those like jump gates or whatever, those like anti-gravity jump gates or whatever. So like I was saying, the map looks so interactive and it looks like, you know, there's just all sorts of ways to um that was cool. It looks like they incorporated a little bit of like uh, battle royal battle royale drop-ins. Um so I don't know what I don't know if you can res in this game, like I don't really know anything about the ins and outs of actually playing the game, other than I think it is a 5v5. And uh, I am pre-registered. I, I really implore everybody to register because this game is going to be sick. I wish I could say it was going to be game of the summer because, man, if they had, if they were able to time it, the hype would be huge behind this, especially with all the younger folk being home from uh, school and whatever they do. <laughs> But uh, I got all the time, baby. Get me in this. Yeah, no, I got all the time. Get me in this. A lot of the characters look really cool. The game looks awesome. What do I say? The game looks absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to play it. I think that, um, like I was saying at the beginning, the MOBA genre does have space for some new life to be breathed into it. Um, it kind of reminds me how, like, the RTS genre has a lot of older games. And, you know, Stormgate was supposed to, is supposed to. Uh, be the game that kind of breathes some life into that genre. So I think that there's, while I don't think there's any pressure for Supervive to uh, perform well, I think there's just a lot of eyes in it like, hey, what are they doing, right? And so uh, I know that, you know, there's the, um, the playtest happening on Twitch. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. They deserve all the attention, all the love. And I can't wait to get in the beta myself. I will be putting up some footage if I can. Um, I don't know what their NDAs or anything are like right now. But like, honestly, I, I just can't wait till this comes out. I cannot wait till this comes out. I can't wait till we get more information on this game. I will be covering it. So let me know if this excites you. Um, if you already know about this game, if you're looking forward to it, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, <laughs> as always, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.